What is up, Steamians, DTubers, YouTubers, Crypto Nation? It is your boy Crypto Evo here. Just in the truck, heading to the gym, trying to be a little fit. Been slacking the last, uh, pretty much the last like month. Been uh, really kind of like taking it easy, but it's always good to have. Uh, a few weeks of uh, relaxation and let your muscles and everything revive. But uh, what I was reading today was the Wall Street Journal and front page of the business and finance section was an article about how the SEC um, is uh, doing a subpoena on um, ICOs and pretty much they warned about this uh, they've been warning about it for the last um, few months actually and they've been saying any fraudulent ICOs they're going to come after them so the crypto industry really didn't do any form of uh, self-regulation on their own they pretty much uh, just let everything kind of operate the way it has been um, you've seen uh, um, the SEC actually hammered down on a few on a few coins uh, BitConnect being probably the most uh, famous and most known coin uh, that they did hammer down on but uh, supposedly it's about 70 other ICOs that have uh, um, been uh, uh, that the SEC is requesting some form of information about them or something like that so as you know, I've been somebody that doesn't invest in ICOs. I believe a lot of them are uh, fraud. A lot of them are uh, scams. And um, I tell a lot of my uh, friends and family, there's really no point to invest in an ICO um, because you could just wait. You could just wait for the coin to go public, Let wait for the coin to actually prove what it's promising to do. So. Um, there's no reason to be in on the ground floor of all of these projects and everything like that. You can wait a little bit, like, and that's what I, um, tell all my friends and family that there's no reason to kind of be somebody that has to invest in all these ICOs because as you see, a lot of them are scams and a lot of them are fraud and uh, now with the SEC really doing what they've said they will do, um, I think we're going to see some uh, short term volatility, but I think it's a good thing. It's a great thing actually for the market because uh, no one wants to be ripped off, especially investors, no one wants to be ripped off and if you get like this sour taste in your mouth. Uh, from buying a scammy coin or something like that, um, that's not good for the industry at all. That's not good for cryptos. It's not good for uh, anybody or anything. So the only person that's good for is the person that is uh, doing the scamming. So obviously I want to get rid of all the scammers out there. So um, th this, this regulation is actually really good and, and I'm uh, pretty excited to see. I've heard that it's about uh, 70 coins, 70 or so coins that uh, the uh, SEC has subpoenaed. So I'm um, uh, interested to see what all those coins are, if they're going to come out with a list, if this is just the beginning. But uh, I believe kind of get rid of some of this like fluff around there. There's like too many uh, scams and anybody that's thinking about doing a scam will actually think twice about doing it. So it will help out the longevity of the crypto industry. All right, well, this is Evo out and don't let the little short-term volatility scare anybody. So just keep, keep chugging away. Any uh, any dip is a good dip, and just and just let it be. Just ride it out, put on your seatbelts, and, and enjoy the show. So this is Evo, about to hopefully hit the gym for a little bit. Out.